Hello SproutTubers, early game is all about crops and doing it without fancy farms and redstone, so let's maximize efficiency. A bucket of water dumped on the ground will flow for 7 blocks before it terminates. Harvesting with a bucket of water is easily the most efficient way to harvest your crops in one swoop. And here you can see that water flow is in all directions, so if you just dump it on the ground, it'll flow 7 in all directions directions and that's that outlined black area one block higher you can get one more block out of the the water and two three doesn't matter doesn't add anymore so that goes from 112 square blocks to 142 if you drop your water bucket one square higher so here we're at 112 pop one more block in the middle throw some water on top of it we're at 142 and that will really maximize your ability to harvest in the area. Irrigation isn't absolutely necessary, but it will make your life easier and help your crops grow faster. Just one bucket of water will irrigate a nine by nine area. You can see one, two, three, four in each direction plus the middle, and that's got the whole area irrigated. You can plant crops outside of this, but if you don't plant your seeds quickly enough, this will all just go away. So, if I wanted to, say, maximize my harvest potential uh, at the beginning of the game, this isn't with farms and things, so we would just plant our crops in this sort of configuration, and I've just covered up each of these irrigation points with a slab so you can walk over them. Any half block stairs or slabs won't um, interfere with the water. We would dump our bucket in the area and it'll immediately harvest everything. And then you can go just run around and pick it up. So the configuration looks like this. Each of these blocks is an irrigated area. Underneath, of course, is the slab with the water. Right? And you would just count out one, two, three, four, bang. And anything in that area is going to be irrigated so you can plant all your crops in here um, this way you're maximizing the ground usage with minimal water when it comes to pumpkins melons things like that this does this harvesting technique doesn't work it'll harvest the roots that you've worked so hard but it won't harvest the melons you can harvest you can if you can direct the flow of water you can sort of control where everything goes a little better because all of the uh, seeds and harvest will float and end up in one place which is super handy and here's a here's how that works this is a this is actually one bucket of water so you can irrigate a lot of land or you can harvest a lot of land with one bucket as long as you move six because it flows seven and then it'll drop and it'll it'll um, it'll sort of create a false bucket of water at the drop and then six and drop and you can go indefinitely this way as by way of example so if we put one more block here though it stops flowing because it'll only go seven So, if we build out like something like this setup here, we can harvest everything down here. But of course, the melons won't harvest. So, they're going to have to be somewhere else, right? Unfortunately, but... We got an extra block there. So you can harvest just by dumping your water in. Everything will flow down and you're at the end. So water flows seven blocks. So we know that if we do six blocks and a drop, it'll continue to flow. So you could endlessly harvest this way. And to keep this irrigated, I just put a little irrigation place on the side so I'm not interfering with the 
inner workings of the garden, right? So here I've built a bigger farm. I've stepped it down one, two, three, four, four steps. This is, um, I put, instead of uh, irrigating on the sides, I put one irrigation spot in the middle of each. That means, remember the nine by nine blocks for one irrigation. So this can be nine wide. Um, with the flow though, it has to be five long, and I'll show you why in a minute, but I've raised it up. So you could, this whole thing will harvest with one bucket of water and end up down here at the end. And if you really want to coordinate this harvest, you could put another flow coming this way and wash everything down to one corner. And this is no fancy redstone farms or anything. This is just how to maximize your crops. So if you look, it's one, two, three, four, five. And then I've had to cut out the corners, and I'll show you why. So you get one extra block by raising it one block higher. Ah, here we go. See, so this is why I cut the edges out, because it does this. You don't get the maximum width and you lose a lot of spaces. So by popping that out, it fills in all that. So this would build a more aesthetically pleasing farm, but doesn't necessarily harvest as efficiently or grow as efficiently as this setup here. And you would think that since just dropping water, you could build something like this and harvest in all directions. However, that's not the case. As the fluid dynamics will get the best of you. And here we are. It does get you more squares to harvest this way, but you it's a little unpredictable and you're all over the place. I uh, hope that helps your crops and uh, see you next time.